Okay, I'm going to do a short video. It's going to be in a few parts. It is on how to molly coat using wet molly. I have a box of 569 grain Sierras here. I have split it into two halves just so I can keep the batches relatively small. I use old powder containers. I use the Alliant ones because I like them the best and I like Alliant the best. And I have my molly powder and I've got it stuck here in my sink. And I'm going to put each batch in with molly powder and just enough water to cover the bullets. And that's all you'll need. Okay, I'm going to try to do this while holding the phone. So forgive me. I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon for 250 bullets. Go get my funnel so I don't make a mess. Sorry. Put my funnel on here. You can see the funnel. This isn't really rocket science by any stretch of the imagination. Okay, so pour in the bullets. If you have a bigger funnel, obviously that will go a lot faster. Then I'm going to, <clears throat> you can see, or maybe you can't see, into this container. But the bullets are in there, and I put my half teaspoon of molly. I always put a little extra molly just to make sure. I'd rather them be a little slurry and overcoated. And have some residue at the end as opposed to uh, them not coating so say for that entire 500 I would use a teaspoon a heaping a small heaping teaspoon of molly so then I'm going to add the water I'm going to put in just enough water to make it about that much taller than the height of the bullets I'm going to put the cap back on and then just for safety because I have had them screw themselves off I put shipping tape you can put a piece of duct tape over the lid secure it so it's not going to go anywhere so I'm going to do all of that I don't think I need to show you the molly powder that I'm using these days is one that my friend actually got me from one of his suppliers and it's awesome I've used the Lyman, and you can also buy fine molly powder now on eBay. I hear that's quite good. Also, you get the extra, extra fine. It's like $25 for a bottle about the same size. That'll last you quite a while. Many, many thousands of, of bullets. Okay, so that's into part one. And then I will show you once I get the containers done what I do with them. Thanks. Okay, the two containers are done. You can see I strapped down the top with some shipping tape. You can use good old-fashioned duct tape or whatever you have. And I'm going to grab these. <clears throat> and we're going to go to the garage where I have my tumbler. Forgive the garage entry door. All right. All right, I've got it in the Big Dylan tumbler. You can put the top on it. I don't really put the top on it. 
you'll see what happens when I hit the button and turn it on. That's pretty loud, so I'm going to come in here to do the finishing of the talking, but um, I let that run for about five hours. I'd rather it run a little long than too short. Some people run it as little as an hour. Um, I usually go five hours. So I start it in the morning and I pull it after lunch, and then I will move on to the next step, and I will show you that in the next video. See you then. All right, <clears throat> here's the next part. Uh, these have come out of the tumbler and I've cut the uh, tape loose. And I've got my old spaghetti strainer here that was cracked and I claimed it for molly coating. So here's the big reveal. You take the top off here. Sorry. Here we go. All right. Then we rinse. Try to keep the molly water off the sink as much as possible. If you get molly water on your sink or get some molly stains, uh, just regular old uh, Clorox or Comet will take it off. And you can see these are clean as a whistle. pretty much it <clears throat> as far as you can see they're fully coated absolutely beautiful and that was pretty darn easy so the next thing is get them off a little bit here. I have uh, two China paper plates that I've covered in four layers of paper towel one for each All right, there's one. All right, I'm gonna take the top off the other one. Give me just a second here. <clears throat> Being a little stubborn, hold on. All right. Well, I said that, kind of tricky to do with one hand here. Sorry. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Little rinsey poo. Now, if you've never done any molly coating, molly coating is not anything you want to get on your clothes. Don't get it on your carpet. You want to be very careful with it. Keep everything within the confines of the sink. And then the only thing you have to do when you're done is to clean the sink. So again... All rinse. Those are poured out, and that's it. 
And the next step is the buffing. But I think you'll see those already look pretty darn good, huh? Yeah. That's good molly, by the way. Okay, so I'm going to stop here. I'll be right back, and we'll show the buffing step. Thank you. All right, next part. I'm going to take our bullets that have been sitting here kind of straining. What I have here is I use an old Pardex pan. You can use a cookie sheet, muffin sheet, muffin pan, anything, aluminum, whatever. I put about eight layers of paper towel in there just to make sure I have enough with this mini bullets that I'm doing all at once. And I will dump these in. And you can see that the that it dried off for the most part. And then here's the big secret. We do like we're panning for gold. Do down on one end. All right, now we're gonna flip around to the other end. See how the residue and the water is coming out of the tips. This won't take as long if you don't have match bullets. If you're doing mark, uh, like a, a tipped bullet or a soft point, there's no water in the tips to come out. Okay. I'm going to take this and put it back over here. Trying to do all this with one hand. Here we go. I'm going to put a dry paper towel in here. Dump them back in. Lost a few. Hold on a second. They're already pretty much dry. By this point, <clears throat> the <clears throat> hollow points aren't very large. So I'll do it again. Really get them. Really get them slamming against the side there so it knocks all the body water out of the, the hollow point. But for the most part, I think you'll see that they're like little chrome steel billets. Of awesomeness. One great thing about the wet molly is that there's absolutely nothing to get on your fingers. After I buff them out you can see the paper towel is pretty much completely clean. There's nothing coming off, nothing coming out. If you have a big hollow point you'll see little splatters along this wall here and you know to keep going. And you just put on a fresh paper towel and go back to buffing, go back and forth and back and forth. All right. That is done. And just to be sure, I typically always put these in my oven on warm for half an hour just to make sure they're nice and clean. And then I don't put them in a sealed container to make sure all the water came out of the hollow points for maybe three or four days. Oh, come on. There we go. Wet molly. All right. Check out my store, the urbanriflemanstore.com. My website is the Urban Rifleman. This is Bradley Walker. I am the Urban Rifleman. Check you later.